Uh, I think they're all bored of us now at this stage. Sick and tired of seeing our faces. Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna tune in. Dilt, how long are we cooped up in this bloody house? I don't know. How about my birthday? Yeah, it's your birthday. How old did you turn? Twelve. Yeah. I'm feeling a lot older. You're feeling a lot older? Yeah. You're looking a lot older too. Yeah, so are you. Yeah? Well, there's all kinds of weird things happening with me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It seems that we're here. We're here. Oh, how do I think about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, Dilt. All kinds of weird things. You're feeling older. Anyway, okay. Let's get this going. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, bless my soul. <laughs> I'm in love, I'm all shook up, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, da -da, da -da. We have been cooped up in this house, how long, Dills? Too long. Too long. Look at all this guy's looking, all kinds of mad things happening to me. Holy mother of macaroni. I don't know, guys, are we ever going to get out of this damn place, Dills? That is the question. But whilst we are stuck here, I'm going to more fix this here now. Whilst we are stuck here, that's not the pizza dough one, we are going to make it as much fun as possible to have the laugh, lads. That's what it's all about, having a bit of crack. And tonight, Dills, what are we cooking? Pizza. Pizza. Imagine me with hair. Here we go now, hang on a sec, we're going to find this. Where are we, Dills? Let's just go out of this and back in again. How are we all doing, guys? I hope everybody has their dough made. There we go, are we good? Excellent, we are in. Technical difficulties sorted. I hope, go, oh, Keith Barry's in the house. How you doing, Keto? Hurry up, we're hungry. Look what's happened to me, Keto. I've been stuck in this damn house for a month, nearly. I'm growing my damn hair, and this guy's got a beard. Okay, hi from Jacob the Champion. Hey, Jacob, my sous chef champion on the planet. I also gotta say, huge hi to Leah McIntyre in Mallon in Donegal. Leah, I know you're watching all these videos and we love having you here. And also, hands up, who's 13 today? Anyone? Anyone? That's right, Laura McSherry in Nuri County Down was supposed to be down in Killarney today, but the championship of Irish dancing was cancelled, obviously, so she's at home, but it's her birthday today. They can cancel the dancing, but they can't cancel your birthday party, so everybody, big hello, big happy birthday to Laura. Say happy birthday, does to Laura. Happy birthday. Do you want to whip off your beard? Yes. Whip off your beard. Should I whip off the hat? Yeah. Okay, if you've all followed everything, well then, you should have your dough made, and you should have your sauce made. So let's get on. Holy jig, there's a reason I don't have hair that's the bloody heat coming out of that. Brian Finnegan, superstar, thanks a million for that. Finnegan's in Ken there. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You've all got your own toppings, I'm gonna show you how to make an amazing garlic butter. If you don't have this, don't worry about it, do it next time. You should have plenty of dough for probably six, seven pizzas. So just crush a little bit of back of the garlic, and I'm gonna put it into our pot with a little bit of butter and a little bit of oil. And we're gonna put that on very gentle heat for our garlic pizza, our garlic bread. Okay, really, really simple. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. You can do it for the next time. So bang that in, and then we're gonna get cracking. One big wallop of butter. We are making garlic butter. And this is enough here, lads, for at least seven or eight pizzas. In we go. We did this the other day, guys, didn't we? Yeah. And it was lovely. Little bit of olive oil. And that is gonna be just for our garlic bread. Peg says, nice hair trim, Dylan. <laughs> now, I'm also gonna put in a tiny little squeeze of lemon juice into that, and we're gonna put it on really low. Okay, low and slow. Oh, there, Dylan's are in charge, keep an eye on it. Okay, who knows where pizzas originated from? Anybody? Anybody, I'll give you a second to figure that one out. Where do you reckon, Dills? The Italians think it, they did, yeah. And the Greeks would argue that it was them who invented it. But we don't really give a damn about these kind of things, Dills, do we? Nope. Why not? Because 
It's a no moan zone. It's a no moan zone. We don't give a damn. But I'll tell you one thing, kids. Who knows why pizzas are round? I never thought of that. Any idea? No. Because when they used to go into battle years ago, particularly the Romans, they have to travel miles and miles around the world, and all they brought with them was their shield. And they couldn't bring ovens, and they couldn't bring microwaves with them, because they know what to plug it in, in the middle of the field. So all they had was their shield. So some genius put a little bit of pizza dough into a shield, on top of a fire, voila, pizza. And that's completely utter rubbish. But it sounds good though, doesn't it? It does. Makes you think, okay, let's go. Dills, what are we gonna start with? Everyone have your ovens on, guys. Should be 180 degrees. And we're gonna throw a little bit of flour on our board. Dills, you're in charge of comments. Let me know who's, look at the dough. Hopefully all your dough has, now I know there's something going. I never made, what, what do you, how have you got your dough? You weren't, you're not following the page properly. We've been telling you for the last three days, have your dough and your sauce made. Look at this one, this is the bad boy we made this morning. Look at that, Dills. Oh, doubled in size. Uh, hi from Tommy and Beaufort. Hi, Tommy and Beaufort. How are you, buddy? Good to have you on board. Now, that dough, we're going to have lovely air and everything. We're going to cut it in half. Okay? And we're going to cut that half into trees. We've now got three pizza bases. So let's go with our first one. And everybody follow along. Make your own toppings and you guys decide what you want to do. But keep working with me, work on your base, just fix it out a little bit like that. And we're going rectangular because the only shields we can find is were rectangular. But you do it any shape you want. So roll her out. Keep Barry in the house, lads, huh? Ireland's number one mentalist. Good pal of ours, isn't he, guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's making pizzas at home with his family at the same time. Let us know guys if you're watching like you, Aiden Mernan. I know you watch every single one of these and you never post a comment. We know you're watching. Good to have you on board, Aiden. So, any other comments coming in? So use your rolling pin. If you want to go all fancy and twisty, off you go. You obviously know how to make your pizzas. This is for kids who's the first time they have ever made. Um, Michael uh, said great work from all at Monster Coving. Oh, thanks a million, Michael. Okay, so look at that. We're just going to shape it out. I could leave it like that, but I want to make it the size of my big tray because this is going to be our garlicky butter one. So press down hard. Okay, look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. How are we all keeping up, guys? I know we go a bit fast, but I'll slow it down. Don't worry. And here's what you do. Take out one of your trays. Yeah, that looks pretty much the right size. So... Here's what we do. Greaseproof paper. There's a method to my madness. Why do we want greaseproof paper, Dills? Saves up the cleaning. Exactly. Saves up the cleaning. Makes life really easy. How are you finding the dough, guys? And I hope all the pizza sauce is looking good. A little foley foley, a little foley foley. Look at that. Beautiful. Actually, anybody making a round one? Have we a scissors, Dills? I'll show you a great way to make a round one. A square-ish piece of paper. Fold it in half. Okay? And fold it in half. Okay? And then fold that one in half. And then fold that one in half. Okay? If you're making a round thing, so go to half what am I looking for here? This is the master will be well impressed if you remember that. I'm looking for what? The middle point. So I'm looking for that? Radius. The radius of the circle. Perfect. We go in. Keep it up. We started with a square piece. Let's keep our go. Ta-da! We now have a lovely circular piece. And this one is for Greta Thunberg. Okay? Because she's busy saving the planet at the moment, guys. Do not throw anything away. Keep this. And the next time... You go to your public toilets. You just, you sit there, you see? You waste nothing, lads. Nothing, wait till you see Neville and Don are gonna try and do that trick someday. You know where you saw it here first. Dills, keep that. Oh, what a shot. Okay, now, so that's how you make your circular piece of paper if you're going on the train. How'd you like that trick, guys? Now, let's fold that up. Okay, so fold your dough in half. Put the tray that away. Fold your dough in half so that it doesn't rip, okay? So it's got a bit more 
thickness in it and then open it up like so. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this one I said I was doing garlic butter. So I'm gonna just throw that over there for one second. Let's do that again so everybody can keep up because I presume you're all making at least two pizzas. How's your garlic butter there, Dills? Have a look. Come over here, Shani. Let me show everybody. <laughs> Beautiful. How are our comments, Dills? Anybody talking? Uh, South Africa joining you tonight. Oh, hello, Amanda Daly. Hello, Amanda. How are you? So let's do that one again, okay? So everybody keep going at the same stage, at the same pace. A little bit of flour if it's getting sticky, sticky. I'd say we'll probably do two, won't we, lads? And then we can do more afterwards. But we just want everybody to be able to Keep up, try that out of the way. Now, a little bit of flour on your dough. Same again, don't be afraid to push down on the dough, okay? Look at that, beautiful. Anything coming in there, Dills? Uh, loving it, Paul, we're having a ball here. Paul. Who's that? Paul O'Donovan. Paul, hey Paul, how are we doing? Now, massive shout out to Paul and all his family, guys. So look, go pretty much the length of the tray. Mary said, great crack tonight, no grape juice. No. Oh, give me a beer. How the hell did I forget that? Give me a beer from the fridge. Thanks. Who said that? Mary? Yeah. Thanks for reminding me, Mary. So, roll out. Roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out. Beautiful. And the reason why I showed you how to make the dough like this, guys, is it really is foolproof dough for using at home in our own kind of ovens. So, if you've got a pizza oven, fair play to you. We don't. Just stick it over there to the right. How you say? Useless. Can't get the help anymore. We're still looking for that kid, lads. Emails too, we know her. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Pizza and beer. Oh. Oh. No, that's all right, does. Now, hopefully you're all keeping up, guys. Hopefully you're all making the bases. Send us in the pictures as always, guys. We want to see if you're making them. I want to see the finished product. Dills, you're getting away very easy tonight. No sizzle dance. We've nothing to sizzle. Bang. Another tray. How are we getting on, kids? Let me know what toppings are going on your pizzas, guys. I want to know. I want to know who's out there. Who are these culprits with pineapple and sweet corn? I want to know who you are. Now, beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, we're not a million miles off with that one. Has everybody got their bases rolled out? Do two or three at a time. And we are good to go. Hmm. Fold it in half to make it easy. Ed? Yeah? Paul what degree do you put your pizzas at? 180. 180, Paul. I have the oven at 180 degrees. Because I want you guys doing that. Because I'd normally put it on full blast. But because this is most of the time you're doing it here, I want you to, it won't burn this way at 180. Still come out really tasty. Okay, how's my garlic butter looking? Beautiful, let's turn that up just a little bit. And that way you get the flavor of the garlic. Coming into dill squash down with cloves of garlic. So let's do our first one here. Hooray, they say, hooray. So here's the key to pizzas. Do not put too much sauce on it. Do not put too much toppings on it because otherwise it's too much for a tin base like that. So. Your food will be soggy and the base will be cooked, or the base will be soggy and the food won't be cooked, one or the other, okay? So just be careful with it. So we're only gonna put in, look, we've got one spoon here. Let's put in, say, maybe three spoons, like so. And then we can judge it and spread it all the way out. Just leave a tiny little bit for the crust. Okay, this is where all the kids can be joining in now and enjoying this one. I've got my kid over there making the garlic. So you see what I mean? Spread it out. A little goes a long way, and I don't want you putting too much sauce onto the pizzas because otherwise it's just gonna turn out soggy bottoms. Isn't that right, lads? Okay, sauce number one, done. A tiny, tiny sprinkling of our cheese first. Just a tiny, tiny little sprinkling of our cheese first. Now, here's what we do, guys. You decide on your toppings. So I'm gonna make this a meat fest. So we're gonna go with a little bit of pepperoni. Dash a few places around. How are we getting on there, Dills? Not too bad. Lovely. A little bit of pepperoni. Everybody keeping up? Any questions coming in, Shoni? I put chicken, ham, peppers, onion, pineapple, and mild grated cheddar. Ooh, very nice. Everything except for the pineapple. 
What kind of sauce is that please? Geraldine, it's all on the page. It's our own pizza sauce. We made it fresh today. Go back down on the page and you'll see the video. How much butter with garlic? Boom, just a knob. We never measure anything, just a big dollop of it. And you'll have enough there for tomorrow and the next day, or even to throw it on with a bit of chicken or something like that. Now, so what have we got? We have pepperoni, dills, how about a bit of salami? Okay, these are really thin slices, guys, so we can put on a bit, but don't. If you're putting on chunky stuff, do not put on too much. Here we go, a little bit of bacon. <laughs> Peppa Pig has gone a long way this week. Look at that. My pizza. This is your pizza? Yeah. Are we not doing sherry sherries? Now, and a bit more cheese over the top. How easy is this, guys? This is grated mozzarella, lads. I know people were saying, could you put on a bit of cheddar? You can, I think it's always grated too thick and it gets a bit, it's not as nice, but you can, of course. Beautiful, how's everybody's pizzas looking? Dills. Paul said, and the base does pineapple go on pizza. Is it Paul? No, and if whoever your wit says yes, just say thank you very much for everything to date, but we're done and just slowly walk away. Anybody puts pineapple on a pizza, well, let's just say we're not impressed. What am I throwing on here, guys? A bit of mixed herbs, Italian seasoning, oregano, whatever you have, okay? Whatever you want. Dills, you're on pepper, please. Nice grind of the pepper all the way around. All the way around, not all in one place. That's it, that's it. Beautiful, beautiful, big towards the end. Perfect. A little bit of salt. How are we all doing, guys? Shawnee, you're very quiet over there with A little bit of rock salt. Simple, simple, simple. And the last thing, just a little drizzle of olive oil. Not a huge amount, just a little drizzle of olive oil. That is our first pizza done. Into the oven, it's gonna take about 15 minutes. So let's get this one on the go and we'll make another one. We watch them right into the middle of the oven. Boom. How easy was that, guys? How easy was that? Here we go, our garlic is done. So let's bring it over. A bit of the pastry brush. If you don't, don't worry. What do I need? A little pink to sit on. Dills. How's everybody getting on, guys? Any comments coming in? Everybody keeping up to speed? Happy enough? Ashley, or uh, you said pineapple, yes, end of. End of. Uh, look, I, no, 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 no. The house smells amazing. Brilliant, Peg. Uh, it was nice knowing you for all pineapple. You're all, you're all weird. All you pineapple loving people, you're all weirdos. Now, garlic. Garlic, very, very simple. Lovely garlic bread, and you're gonna have loads of dough left over for tomorrow, so this is brilliant for the Sunday roast, okay? And anyone with the tomato sauce left over, freeze it, if you don't wanna use it, come out anytime. All right, that goes amazing, just mixed with pasta, with a little bit of fish, even with chicken, it's fantastic. So don't worry about it, you'll have plenty of it, but at least you know how to make it now. What do you got, comments there? Burgers. in the oven. Uh, I always say, is that Maeve? I always say, Maeve, till it's cooked, because every oven is different. So keep an eye on it. It'll be take about 10 to maybe 12, 15 minutes. Some people put on too much cheese. Some people put on less stuff and it's cooked even quicker. So keep an eye on it. After 10 minutes, just watch it. You want to see it nice and crispy, but we'll pull it out when it's done. I never look at times or any of that kind of stuff. Margaret reckons Dylan's haircut is cool. Margaret, thank you for lying. Shout out to Clola and Sorka in Killarney. Clola and Sorka, how we doing in Killarney? So, mm. Beautiful. We don't have the grape juice today, lads. We've gone with the hop juice. Okay, here's my garlic one. And don't, as I said, don't worry, guys. If you don't have this, I just kind of threw it on as a last second. So let's go with our butter. Beautiful. Lift up the spoon there for a sec for me. There it is. Very simple. Actually, you know what? Let's get all the let's get all the garlic out. To hell with this. It is Saturday. We'll worry about the calories tomorrow. Okay. That's the garlic that is just gone that way when I threw it in because there's a little stalk that I never took out. So it is now known as alien garlic. How cool is that? Have you ever seen beautiful green garlic before? Now you have. It's perfectly fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Now, so that's the little stalk that goes up the garlic cloves. People always say take it out, but it's gonna be covered in cheese and I don't. I think it tastes lovely, okay? So, loads of garlic butter. Really, really simple. Our cheese. Oh, yes, baby. Get the pepper mill ready there, Dills. You're doing nothing today, Dills. You're slack, slacking up, buddy. Slack, slack, you were great yesterday, last time, slack. Uh, now, don't forget, guys, I wanna see the pictures of the finished products. 
I want to know if you're following. Look at that. Perfect. Come on, Dills. Great to Dixie with that now, Dills. Gavin, our kitchen is like a war zone. Uh, how do you expect us to keep up and make comments? Just go at your own pace, guys. That's all we know. That's all. We're cooking here with Sean, age 9, and Ashley, age 11. Uh, welcome to the house, Justin Lowry. Uh, what way do you make the garlic butter, Paul? Uh, I just basically crushed a few cloves of garlic, bit of butter, bit of oil, sprinkle of lemon. That was all I did. And just bring it up nice and slow. Now, here we go. What do we put on pepper so far, Dills? That's excellent pepper skills, Dills. Salt, I can't remember that I already do that, but anyway, we throw on a bit of salt and a little sprinkle of our mixed herbs. Mixed herbs. Thank you, Dills. Look at that. You will see why we're doing our bloody baking paper underneath. Okay, let's go. Garlic bread done. Pizza done. Let's bang this one into the oven there. Actually, let's have a quick look there. Grab me my um, tea towel there, please, buddy. Excellent thing. So let's take out this one and turn it a bit sideways, okay? So that's not ready yet, we can see that. It's not a million miles off it, so flick it around, turn it in. And let's go on with another one. Shani, what do you want on yours? I need dough, I need dough, I need dough. What are we putting on Sean's pizza, guys? Cheese, chicken, and bacon. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Cheese, chicken, and bacon. What are we putting on our pizzas? Your cooking is 100% restaurant quality. I just swear I had a restaurant, wouldn't you? That was mad. Uh, does the garlic cloves dissolve when boiled? No, nah, it just softens it all up. Uh, in the oven and waiting. Good man, I like it, Rob. Well up, with, Rob's on the ball. He's well up to speed. He's got his pizza in the oven already. Um, tell Alana and Mary, no, no pineapple, Ed. Thank you. Ed's in the house with me. Hi, I'm Naz. Uh, I'm from Pakistan. Looking good pizza. Oh, I'm Naz Wasi. Thank you very much. From Pakistan, how are you doing? Excellent. Don't be asking us now for any bank account numbers or any odd stuff like that now. <laughs> As he, we only, we, all we ever do is have a laugh on this channel, okay? So if anyone's easily offended, where should they go, lads? They should just like, like we only, all we ever do is take the piss out of each other. It's all about having a laugh, okay? Keep your step, keep it together, Shawnee, keep it together. Keep the show on the road. Okay, now, what does Sean say he wants? Chicken. Chicken and bacon. Chicken and bacon. And cheese. Okay. Ah, mother's after arriving back. We'll be getting an order there. Now, look at this. Roll out our pizza dough for Sean. Beautiful. A little bit more flour under the board. How's everybody doing? Let me know if you've got your pizza in the oven, guys. I want to know if you're keeping up. Maeve family said pizza in the oven. Good woman, Maeve. Excellent. Beautiful. Now. Yes. Stephanie said goat's cheese, bacon, mushroom, and pepperoni. Oh, I like the sound of that. That sounds good. Mm, that sounds really good. I like the sound of that. Like I said earlier on, guys, when we were making the sauce and stuff, if you're putting vegetables on, if you're putting vegetables on the pizzas, have them pre-cooked, okay? Because otherwise they're just going to be really dry and they're not going to finish off nice. So anybody's doing peppers or mushrooms or onions and that kind of stuff, fry them off in a bit of oil and a bit of butter first, something like that. Nicole O'Malley said, we've got peppers, asparagus, mushroom, pesto, and goat's cheese. Sounds nice. Sounds very nice. How about all the O'Malley's, guys? Now, Shani, are you happy enough with that? Looks good. What am I looking for, Dills? More greaseproof paper. Now, who else has their pizzas in the oven? I hope you're all keeping up, guys. John McSweeney, two in the oven, I love it. One, uh, where would that go? Uh, one cheese and one meat feast, I love it. Nicola McBride, one in the oven, excellent guys. I presume that's a pizza you're talking about, Nicola. You don't get that, do you? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> it's all about having a laugh. We teach you more than just cooking here, guys. We teach you how to beat this coronavirus by having a good old laugh. Anybody flicking their pizzas around, guys, send us in a picture. We want to see. All right, a little bit of tomato sauce. Oh, he's showing special sauce. You can see. Yeah, so you can make a bottle of that too because he did the same to your hair. Perfect. I like it. I wash my hair or my hands. Not too much, Dale. Remember what I said to you now? Tell them what you're doing. You can't just. I'm just leaving it out there. Don't look at me. Tell them. Oh, do it properly. Do it properly. Spread it all around. Spread it all the way out to the outsides. Tell them what you're doing, Dale. I'm going to do the comments. Spreading the stuff around the pizza. 
Laura has three in the oven. Going great. Excellent. Fantastic. Well done, Laura. See, you always work quicker when it's your birthday, Laura. <laughs> Dad, look at that, like. Yeah, well, we don't worry, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. What's the story with leftover dough? D, it keeps for three, four days easily. So make it kind of a flatbread or one of those garlic breads tomorrow. Lovely. Here, come here. Stop me. There's people watching. You pretend you care about your brother, will you? There's brothers and sisters all out there fighting with each other. We but have to show them that we, no crust. that we genuinely care about each other. Been cooped up here for the last three weeks with you guys. We all love each other, don't we? There's no fighting. Look at that. Now, that's your sauce. Okay. Um, have you finished, Jill? Have you given up just like that? Yeah, I want to Sean said he wants a little bit of... Uh, cheese, uh, what did you say you wanted? Chicken and bacon, was it? Cheese, chicken, bacon. Yeah. Okay, so a little sprinkle of cheese. Wait. Uh, here, I, the chicken. Remember I showed you the chicken earlier on, guys, I was cooking? That's why these things are brilliant. So let's take out the bone there. Okay, and let's put a little bit of chicken. We're not going to be a million miles off taking that first one out of the oven, guys. Dill, a bit of sprinkles of the bacon there now, please. Look at that. Beautiful. How are we all keeping up? Let me know if you've got pizzas in the oven, guys. I need to know. Looking good, Dills. Looking good. This actually looks like a nice one, Goat's cheese. I like the sound of goat's cheese, actually, yeah? We've got some great... Isn't that what one of your buddies' moms do, Dills? What? Goat's cheese. St. Tola's goat's cheese. <laughs> Who's in school with you? That's St. Oh, Tola. Huh? Quidditch's mom. Quidditch's mom. There you go. St. Tola's goat cheese. We've got some of the... You know the way the French think they've got the greatest cheese on the planet? Sorry, Le French. The Irish do. We are amazing at it. Okay, quick wash of the hands. Uh, yeah, so if you see St. Tola's goat cheese anywhere, guys, buy it. 100% fantastic goat cheese. What a brilliant goat cheese here in Ireland as well. Keith we... Barry says, um, Dills, check your WhatsApp. Dills, check your WhatsApp. Ooh, we're gonna be checking our WhatsApp. Oh, that's on my phone. We're filming on my phone, but uh, Keto, I can't check. Um, hang on a sec. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? T I'm gonna have a quick look, see how our pizza's shiny over here. Um, oh, yeah, baby. Look at our, oh, 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 look at our garlicky, cheesy one. Beautiful. Turn it around in the oven. See, the back of the oven tends to be a little bit hotter. There's our other one. Turn that one around. That's our meat fest stills. That's not a million miles off it. Baby uh, Brennan said you creamed the oven. Pineapple was my first topping. My son wanted Pineapple. I, don't, I just, uh, lads, we, we need to have a meeting. We need to have a meeting and discuss this pineapple phenomenon. Put on whatever you want on your pizza because once you guys are happy, I'm happy. Okay, so we've got our chicken and our bacon. Um, I have no idea. How the hell can I check? Keto, send me a text so I can see it. It'll come up on the phone and then that way I can uh, shout it out. Uh, so, Shawnee, keep an eye out for that on the text. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How are we doing on the comments? You don't even have them on yet. Now, how are you? Happy with that, Chan? Yep. Looks good. Anybody go on to my Instagram account. Guys, you'll see Shawnee banging in a 35 yard kick soccer right into the back of a basket. Pretty cool. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Follow us all on all of them. Now, a little, little bit of olive oil. And something like that with the chicken, that's the one like I was telling you, don't put too much lumpy chicken on it because it's just not going to reheat quick enough in the oven. Uh, tea towel, I'm only the oven. So we have three, you guys are frying, that's this only my third one now. You guys have trained the oven already. Okay, Shawnee, let's go. In, up, 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 up. I'm trying to one up the top. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, another 30 seconds. Oh yeah, another minute. We are looking good. So what can we do now, Dills? We can start cleaning down a little bit. Start taking a few bits and pieces off. Stick them over here. Not on the board, I need that board. I'm gonna wipe down everything clean as you go along, guys. Clean as you go along. That dough that's left over, I'm gonna wrap it in a bit of cling film. And that's perfect. Perfect then for the next day or two days or three days time. Let's wipe down everything, clean down everything. We're nearly ready to start. What are you eating? Could you just do what you're told to do and clean up? Thank you very much. Right. Emails, lads. Info at cooking with the tray boats. I think we need time. Dio Lachlan says, what do you reckon um, on a Nutella, strawberry, banana and drizzled with white chocolate? I love it. I love the sound of that. There we go. Leftover dough. That's your breakfast tomorrow. Now, 
let's just throw a few bits and pieces out of the way. That's relatively clean. Maeve has five in the oven. Well done, Maeve. Very impressive. How easy is it to make the pizzas, guys? Simple. Now, are they going to come out looking as good is the question. Here's how you serve them all. We're on a million miles off it. Pizza cutter. Boom. How are we on? Five in the oven for Maeve. Edwin, hey Ed, how's it going, buddy? Uh, check the Twitter messages. I'm afraid to go out of the phone in case I screw up the Facebook Live thing, guys. Um, what cheese is it? Mozzarella or cheddar? I have mozzarella for demo, but you can use both if you want. Um, perfect. How are we looking, girls? Now, I think this one. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. First pizza. Done. Now, moms and dads all around the world. This is why I told you to do with your Grease. greaseproof paper. Look at that. One clean tray. I've got nothing to wash. Nothing. In the bin. Perfect. You see? We're not mad, Dill. Sure we're not? No. Here is our first pizza. Beautiful. Pizza cutter right down the middle. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. How are your pizzas going, guys? Make sure you send me in the pictures. Lovely, pizza number one, done. Ah, ah, ah. How simple is this to do, guys? You're now going, oh my God, this man is a freaking genius showing us how to cook. I'm not, it's just that simple. You've done the exact same thing. I didn't cook your pizza, you did. You're the genius. Be back in a minute, the patchy's at the door. <laughs> I love it, John. Uh, I meant to say, uh, the sizzle dance. Don't forget to do the famous sizzle dance. There's nothing sizzling, there's one. Ooh, it's the sizzle dance. And do it? There's people watch it all over the world. Oh, God, useless. Okay, next one. How are we looking? See this? I'm gonna bring Sean's one on the top of the oven down to the bottom of the oven. And I'm gonna take out my beautiful, look at that one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that one is good. That one is good. Now, oh geez. Be very careful when you pick up a hot tray with a damp cloth. It gets very, very hot. So, take that one out of the way now for a sec. Two clean trays, nothing to wash. One, two, three, blown. One, two, three. Magic. Magic. Absolutely amazing. I love this garlic bread one, guys. I'm telling you, if you're making that, you're gonna absolutely love it. One, we don't care. It doesn't have to be the same shape. It's all about having a bit of a laugh, lad. Isn't it? Yeah. Now. So you guys who had them in the oven should be coming out quick enough. This is very hot, be careful. I don't think you need to see me doing any more. Any questions guys, bang them in there. We're gonna have a beer and we're gonna start tucking into this and then we need to make one for mom. Uh, Paul, I'm really enjoying cooking with you tonight. Who's that, Maeve? Maeve, you should be enjoying cooking with us every night. We do this, is it twice a week? What do we do next Wednesday? Hmm, let's think about that for a sec. Uh, Sabrina, I put a bottle of beer into chill as we speak. And uh, wash it down, I love it, absolutely. Uh, boom, comments. How are your pizzas? Hello from, what's that? Clon, Clon Mel, is it? Yeah. Uh, I think, Clon, Clon, Clon. Mel. From Ruth O'Mahony, how are we doing Ruth? Lisa Biondo, delicious, hope you're enjoying it, Lisa. Greetings, great friends over in Switzerland. Beer and pizza, nothing better. You're dead right, Sharon. You have another, do you want a beer? Yeah, wait, wait, till, wait till we're off camera, to be somebody giving out, giving us some beer. Remember, remember what we said? This is brilliant, thank you, Julie. Uh, okay guys, I think we're pretty much done. That's, hopefully your pizzas, make sure you send us, I know what we do Wednesday. Who wants to do spaghetti bolognese on Wednesday? Ah, jeez, would you give me some sort of like, oh yeah, excited. Yeah, yeah. Your fans are out there watching. Another great meal, thank you, Kerry. Uh, chicken curry next week. We did chicken curry last week or the week before. Ready to eat here. Go for it, Fiona, don't wait for us. Make fair play. Thanks a million, Mick. Hope you're feeling better, buddy. Um, yeah, why don't we do spaghetti bolognese on Wednesday? How about that? I want to see the pictures of your pizzas. I want to see the pictures of your garlic bread. Here's what we always do. Bring the boards down into the middle of the table. Everybody tucks in, has a laugh, talks crap, all that kind of stuff. That's what it's all about, okay? So I think we've nailed it, Dills, have we? Meatballs next. I might do, might do meatballs. Mm, that's good, good thinking. Uh, Aaron and Killian in London says, hi, I'm looking forward to the pizza. Brilliant, hi guys. Yes, spaghetti bolognese. It's our anniversary. It's our anniversary on Wednesday, question mark. I don't know, Fiona. Uh, 
I kind of hoping you know. <laughs> if it is, throw in a bottle of champagne into the fridge and cook along with big yes from the kids, please. Spaghetti, your pizzas look amazing. So, Camilla, do what we just did and so are yours. Uh, Ruby from, oh, I missed that, Causeway. Can't wait for the pizza. Tuck in, Ruby. Uh, can't beat a cold bottle of beer and a pizza. You're dead right, Aaron. Looks yummy. Chicken stir fry. Something with venison. Most people won't be able to get it. I love venison, but most people won't be able to get that. Looks like spaghetti bolognese could be a winner. Dills steals the show. What you, every time. Jesus, you did nothing tonight. How did he steal the show? Sean, nobody cares about you. <sighs> Good stuff, Paul. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, pa Brown flavour of Kilorgan. Thanks a million, guys. Uh, a nice dish with prawns. We did we did prawns risotto already. All these videos are on the feed, guys. Anyway, I'm not talking anymore. Our pizzas are going cold. Send us in the pictures. Isn't that what we want to see, Dills? Someday will you do a cheesecake New York style? I will, someday, don't know when. Chicken wings. Oh, my queen loves spag ball. Richard, I think spaghetti could be good. Would love you to do meatballs. I need a good recipe for simple, okay? Well, that gives us something to think about. Anyway, that's your pizzas. We're gonna take Sean's out of the oven, make another one for mom. Saturday, who needs Anton Deck when you've got us. Dad and Dills? Do you like that one? Dad and Dills, Sean's gonna get upset. Dad, Dills and Sean, until they're no, the same ring, no? Sean Dills dad? She did that, dude. No, we'll have to work on that. Guys, enjoy your pizza, enjoy your beer, enjoy your Ribena, but for now, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. See you soon.